Apis Apis is a small constellation in the southern sky. It represents a bird of paradise, and its name means without feet in Greek because the bird of paradise who was once wrongly believed to lack feet. First depicted on a celestial globe by Petrus Plancius in 1598, it was charted on a star atlas by Johann Bayer in his 1603 Uranometria. The French explorer and astronomer Nicolas Louis de Lacay charted and gave the brighter stars their Bayer designations in 1756. The five brightest stars are all reddish in hue. Shading the others at apparent magnitude 3.8 is Alpha Epidus, an orange giant that has around 48 times the diameter on 928 times the luminosity of the Sun. Marginally fainter is Gamma Apidus, another aging giant star. Delta Apidus is a double star, the two components of which are 103 arc seconds apart and visible with the naked eye. Two star systems have been found to have planets. Apis was one of twelve constellations created by Petrus Plantius from the observations of Peter Dirkso on Kaiser and Frederick de Houtman who had sailed in the first Dutch trading expedition, known as the Eerst Skipfart, to the East Indies. It first appeared on a 35-centimeter, 14-in, diameter celestial globe published in 1598 in Amsterdam by Plantius with Jodocus Hondius. De Houtman included it in his Southern Star Catalogue in 1603 under the Dutch name De Paradise Vogel, the Bird of Paradise, and Plantius called the constellation Paradis Vogel Apis Indica, the first word is Dutch for Bird of Paradise. Apis, Latin for B, is assumed to have been a typographical error for Apis, Bird. After its introduction on Plantius's globe, the constellation's first known appearance in a celestial atlas was in German cartographer Johann Bayer's Uranometria of 1603. Bayer called it Apis Indica while fellow astronomers Johannes Kepler and his son-in-law Jacob Bartsch called it Apis or Apis Indica. The name Apis is derived from the Greek apus, meaning without feet. This referred to the Western misconception that the bird of paradise had no feet, which arose because the only specimens available in the West had their feet and wings removed. Such specimens began to arrive in Europe in 1522, when the survivors of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition brought them home. The constellation later lost some of its tail when Nicolas Louis de Lacaille used those stars to establish octans in the 1750s, covering 206.3 square degrees and hence 0.5002% of the sky. Apis ranks 67th of the 88 modern constellations by area. Its position in the southern celestial hemisphere means that the whole constellation is visible to observers south of 7 degrees north. It is bordered by Ara, Triangulum Australe and Circinus to the north, Musca and Chameleon to the west, Octans to the south, and Pavo to the east. The three letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922 is APS apostrophe. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Eugène Delport in 1930, are defined by a polygon of six segments, illustrated in info box. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between and, while the declination coordinates are between minus 67.48 degrees and minus 83.12 degrees. Lacai gave 12 stars Bayer designations, labeling them alpha through to kappa including two stars next to each other as delta and another two stars near each other as kappa. Within the constellation's borders, there are 39 stars brighter than or equal to apparent magnitude 6.5. Theta, gamma and delta apodis form a narrow triangle, with alpha apodis lying to the east. The five brightest stars are all red-tinged, which is unusual among constellations. Alpha Epidus is an orange giant of spectral type Kive located 430 plus or minus 20 light years away from Earth, with an apparent magnitude of 3.8. It spent much of its life as a blue-white, B-type, main sequence star before expanding, cooling and brightening as it used up its core hydrogen. It has swollen to 48 times the Sun's diameter, and shines with a luminosity approximately 928 times that of the Sun. With a surface temperature of 4,312 K Beta Epidus is an orange giant 149 plus or minus 2 light years away, with a magnitude of 4.2. It is around 1.84 times as massive as the Sun, with a surface temperature of 4,677 K Gamma Epidus is a yellow giant of spectral type G8 i located 150 plus or minus 4 light years away, with a magnitude of 3.87. It is approximately 63 times as luminous as the Sun. With a surface temperature of 5,279 K Delta Apidus is a double star, 
the two components of which are 103 arc seconds apart and visible through binoculars. Delta is a red giant star of spectral type M4 I've located 630 plus or minus 30 light years away. It is a semi-regular variable that varies from magnitude plus 4.66 to plus 4.87, with pulsations of multiple periods of 68.0, 94.9 and 101.7 days. Delta is an orange giant star of spectral type Kive, located 550 plus or minus 10 light years away, with a magnitude of 5.3. The separate components can be resolved with the naked eye. The fifth brightest star is Zeta Apatis at magnitude 4.8, a star that has swollen and cooled to become an orange giant of spectral type k one ive with a surface temperature of 4,649 K and a luminosity 133 times that of the Sun. It is 300 plus or minus 4 light years distant. Near Zeta is Iota Apatis, a binary star system 1,040 plus or minus 60 light years distant that is composed of two blue-white main-sequence stars that orbit each other every 59.32 years. Of spectral types B9b and B9.5b, they are both over three times as massive as the Sun. Eta Apatis is a white main-sequence star located 140.8 plus or minus 0.9 light-years distant. Of apparent magnitude 4.89, it is 1.77 times as massive. 15.5 times as luminous as the Sun and has 2.13 times its radius. H250 plus or minus 200 million years old, this star is emitting an excess of 24 mu infrared radiation, which may be caused by a debris disk of dust orbiting at a distance of more than 31 astronomical units from it. Theta Apatis is a cool red giant of spectral type M73 located 350 plus or minus 30 light years distant. It shines with a luminosity approximately 3,879 times that of the Sun and has a surface temperature of 3,151 K. A semi-regular variable, it varies by 0.56 magnitudes with a period of 119 days, or approximately 4 months. It is losing mass at the rate of times the mass of the Sun per year through its stellar wind. Dusty material ejected from this star is interacting with the surrounding interstellar medium, forming a bow shock as the star moves through the galaxy. No Apatis is a red giant of spectral type May i.e. that varies between magnitudes 5.71 and 5.95. Located 780 plus or minus 20 light years distant, it shines with a luminosity estimated at 2059 times that of the Sun and has a surface temperature of 3568K. S. Apatis is a rare Archeroni Borealis variable, an extremely hydrogen deficient supergiant thought to have arisen as the result of the merger of two white dwarfs fewer than 100 have been discovered as of 2012. It has a baseline magnitude of 9.7. Our Apatis is a star that was given a variable star designation, yet has turned out not to be variable. Of magnitude 5.3, it is another orange giant. Two star systems have had exoplanets discovered by Doppler spectroscopy, and the substellar companion of a third star system, the Sun-like star HD 131664 hasn't been found to be a brown dwarf with a calculated mass of the companion to 23 times that of Jupiter, minimum of 18 and maximum of 49 Jovian masses. HD 134606 is a yellow sun-like star of spectral type G64 that has begun expanding and cooling off the main sequence. Three planets orbit it with periods of 12, 59.5 and 459 days successively larger as they are further away from the star. HD 137388 is another star, of spectral type K24, that is cooler than the Sun and has begun cooling off the main sequence. Around 47% as luminous and 88% as massive as the Sun, with 85% of its diameter, it is thought to be around 7.4 plus or minus 3.9 billion years old. It has a planet that is 79 times as massive as the Earth and orbits its Sun every 330 days at an average distance of 0.89 astronomical units, AU. The Milky Way covers much of the constellation's area. Of the deep sky objects in Apis, there are two prominent globular clusters, NGC 6101 and IC 4499, on the large faint nebula that covers several degrees east of Beta and Gamma Epidus. NGC 6101 is a globular cluster of apparent magnitude 9.2 located around 50,000 light-years distant from Earth, which is around 160 light-years across. Around 13 billion years old, it contains a high concentration of massive bright stars known as blue stragglers, thought to be the result of two stars merging. 
IC 4499 is a loose globular cluster in the medium far galactic halo, its apparent magnitude is 10.6. The galaxies in the constellation are faint. IC 4633 is a very faint spiral galaxy surrounded by a vast amount of Milky Way line of sight integrated flux nebulae, large faint clouds thought to be lit by large numbers of stars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.